Hello, welcome back. I'm Fajar Purnama and I want to make a video of how to install CUDA on Ubuntu. So I can run some prog some programs on the GPU on Nvidia GPU instead of the CPU. And in the previous video we have updated the ma the softwares, the packages and changed to Nvidia property driver. So the next step is to go to the NVIDIA website and download CUDA toolkit on the NVIDIA website you can get the CUDA toolkit the new one is 9.1 but unfortunately I have tried a few times and I haven't got CUDA 9.1 working but I got 9.0 working so and there are also some other in, uh, CUDA toolkit softwares which you can download uh, by the way on this video there are on this video I would like to show the common way of installing CUDA toolkit there are a few other ways which I will make a separate videos of them but for now this is the common way so download CUDA toolkit from the NVIDIA website Linux and this one my architecture Ubuntu and choose which one is your Ubuntu you can choose a run file or the dep or a dep local which install a local repository which I'll show you later this one is the one that I chose or you have a fast internet and unlimited or many bandwidth or whatever you can use the dep network which I really prefer if you have a very powerful internet connection okay so download this which I already downloaded over here and then after that go to terminal and follow these instructions which is sudo dpkgmin i install that package it, it means a that package install CUDA the dev package okay the next step is uh, this one add the key to the lo for the local repository to the apt package manager and then um, update the apt or apt update and as you can see this is the location of your local repository which you can find on far cuda okay it is other location computer far and this is the local repository over here and then apt install CUDA you can see the packages using aptitude search CUDA which uh, this uh, instruction is telling you to install this one so just go ahead and you sudo apt install cuda okay let's check okay the following will be installed suggested package new package will be installed oh let's see some of the suggestions first the suggested package are this one um would be not necessary now just continue okay and actually after the installation <coughs> your CUDA is not publicly uh, public is your the CUDA toolkit is not publicly available, available to use you have to go 
there manually to go to the directory manually which I will show after this installation is complete okay so let me pause the video for now which is taking some time uh, welcome back okay it's done let's take a look for a bit this one and this one and this one yes for my documentation okay and proceed so to for example to compile a C code in using Judah toolkit you need to run the command and VCC which unfortunately is not currently available the NVCC is um, first I need to be uh, no I don't need to the NVCC is, is uh, available on normally on user local and CUDA and it's available usually on a binary or the executable so it should be on bin uh, okay and then type nvcc and min oh sorry min v and this is the nvidia CUDA compiler so every time that <coughs> so every time you want to run ah, okay every time you want to run the NVIDIA CUDA compiler uh, binary or executable you have to go to user local CUDA bin and VCC <coughs> and this is a uh, kind of like the manual way but it's really inconvenient so you want to make this uh, and VCC public so the next step that we have to do is to set the environment so ENV as we can see that the path for our executable is user local bin user local bin and whatever <coughs> and we need to add the user local CUDA bin on this uh, path environment so to do that we need to ex every export <coughs> export the okay let me write this first okay nah just to make things easier user local CUDA bin so you need to export and then the variable environment variable equals to the current okay the current variable environment and then a separator and then add this the CUDA binary location and let's check again using the environment and we can see that the the CUDA binary is added to the path variable so we can run nvcc every time we want to compile and maybe some other programs would make use of this path environment and unfortunately you do using the export command <coughs> this one this is only uh, once <coughs> this export command is only once so when your PC reboots or shuts down and then turn on again you need to run this command all over again so to make this uh, va variable permanent from there are a couple of ways but on this video I would like to show you how to do it for the 
for all users to the public so you need to go to the etc which is the most of the configuration folder and go to environment if I remember correctly and then there is the path environment and then just add the user local CUDA oh. to this one and probably so actually that's it but probably the next thing that you want to do maybe for future programs you would also like to add the ld underscore hmm. Oh, where is underscore? Okay, nope. Sorry, let me find the underscore. Okay, I found the underscore. correct it should be all the under so library under path so let's just check the internet if I am yep here it is so you might want to add this for some future programs which is okay let's take a look Probably you want to add the lib64 library loca uh, location and then this one and vvm lib64 and where else oh there is also on target no need for samples next is the target Other one is uh, NVVM.
and probably this one I don't know if this one is needed or not but I'll just put it anyway and that's it so in the next video we will try to run some simple programs so for now I'll just restart but before that I will stop the video using Kazam